Hey YouTube, this is Tech Nine from AndroidTechBoxBad.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install AOKP Jellybean ROM onto your Galaxy Nexus GSM or Verizon. Unfortunately, this does not work for Sprint yet because they haven't released it to the public. Hopefully, they're developing and making it, but it's not released to the public yet. So hold on, guys, for Sprint users. Hopefully, they'll release it soon. So right away, just plug in your phone via micro USB and the other side to the USB port. And also, you must have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. So if you don't have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, look right there for Windows and Mac right there in the corner for GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So once you got Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, fire up the laptop and we'll do the rest on the computer. Alright, and you can see right there, I have two zip files, gapps and the AOKP RAM. So download those two files in the description below. And once you got that downloaded, we're going to be transferring those two files onto our phone. So if you're using a Mac, like I am, as you can see I'm using a Mac, I got all the dock applications and all that on the bottom. So if you're using a Mac, download Android File Transfer from the Goog from Google. So just Google search Android File Transfer and I will also have a link in the description for the application. And if you're using Windows, just normally transfer anything with like music, apps or anything. When you plug it in, you can just transfer it right away. So I'm, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use Android File Transfer to transfer it. I have to use a third party app because Mac does not support it. So I'm just going to be transferring these two zip files onto my phone. Transfer. Alright, you can see it's transferring right there. So I'll be back when this is done transfer. Okay, the file's done being transferred, so the rest of the process will just be on your phone. So you can unplug your phone and the rest will be doing from our phone via Clockwork Mod Recovery. So unplug it and you can turn off the computer. Alright, so let's recap. Make sure those two zip files are transferred onto your phone. Link in the description. And make sure your Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you don't, it'll be right here for Windows and for Mac, for GSM, Verizon, and Sprint for Galaxy Nexus. So now we got that done. Now it's going to be powering off our device and entering to recovery mode. Let's power off. Okay, hold the volume up, volume down, and power button. Keep holding until you feel the vibration. Okay, press the volume up twice, and power or power button select recovery. And we will be performing a factory reset v in Clockwork Mod Recovery, so make sure you backed up everything using Titanium Backup and Google Sync and all that because it will delete all your apps and all that, music files and all that so we won't get stuck, we won't break our phone or get stuck in boot loop. So right away we're just going to be doing wipe data slash factory reset. Hold it down to yes. Suck power. Okay, that is done. Now we can go to wipe cache or cache partition. I'll say cache and go down to yes. All right. Now we're going to go into advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. Right there. All right, that was all quick. As you can see, they tell you all of it there when it's complete. So now we're going to go to go back and install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and we're going to find that RAM, the ALKP RAM. So right there, you can see under there, mine's ALKP Mangro. Yours might be called Toro, that's for Verizon, mine is for GSM. So it's going to be selecting that and we're going to go all the way to yes. So this will take a few minutes, I'll be back when this is done. Alright, the process is complete. You can tell when it says complete at the bottom like before. And you have these options once again. You can use them once again. They're back. So now we're just going to go to choose it from SD card. Right at the top. You can choose that. Choose it from SD card. And we're going to find that GAPS. GAPS Jelly Bean right there. Right there you can see GAPS Jelly Bean right there. And we're going to be selecting that. That will install all your Google Google Play Store, your Google Talk, your Gmail, all the all the things that you usually get when you first got when you first bought your phone. So this will only take a few seconds, so you don't have to be patient for this one. All right, that process is complete now. Now we're just going to go back and reboot system now. 
Now, since this is the very first time you install the new RAM, it will take a little bit of time, so please, please be patient with the boot animation, the boot up time, just for the first time. Wait about at least 10 minutes before you comment, and I will help you out then. Okay, finished booting up. Let me just skip through all this so I can show you there's actually on 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. All right, right away you can see that you have different stat or notifications, and you have what is that? Eight. You have eight, eight notifications. So that's awesome. I don't know. Have a lot of these are. It's a lot different from ice cream sandwich. So that's a, that's great. So and I'm using Nova Launcher. That, that's why you can see the different transitions between pages. And let me go into settings real quick so I can show you that's on Jelly Bean. There you go, it's on Jelly Bean 4.1.1. And there you go, and, and you got AOKP version, so you know it's on AOKP right there. So it's August 10th build, so that's great. Um, I would recommend you using this, it's pretty stable, it's pretty good condition. Um, if you're a person who relies on greatly on business and communication, I would not recommend you use this. Maybe you can try it out for a couple days, like when you're in the weekend or anything, day off and then you can try it. So I will have a full review once I get the video up right there. So you can watch that video on the full review, the quadrant scores, how I feel about everything once I get it, once I start using all that. So I'll see you in the next video guys. Also don't forget to check out my, my Facebook, Google and Twitter accounts for great news and if you follow me, I'll follow you back and that's a great way to contact me and for emergencies. Contact me at techfanagnight at gmail.com and I will respond within 24 hours within any of those ways of contacting me. See you on the next video, guys.